video about how uh, we say, oh, está frío, está muy frío, or oh, es frío, and it's like super complicated for people to learn the, those little, yeah. um, you know, specific ways of saying, yeah. está frío, estoy frío, yeah. es frío, yeah. estamos fríos. Yeah. Hey, 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 I got Sergio here from VA Scaler. And he is the CEO of VA Scaler. He is um, one of the secrets of my success. Everybody's always trying to get the secrets of my success. And I'll tell you why in a minute. But um, Sergio is a lawyer here in Florida. He's an engineer by trade. And he became a lawyer after being an engineer. And he is uh, my secret weapon secret sauce um so i have about 50 employees that work for me but he employs them overseas and uh really hardworking people they work uh down in south america and they are employed by him but on my behalf so they're full-time employees of my law firm and he pays them so i pay his company and his company pays them and i wanted to introduce you guys to him because he's expanding now to new cities and new markets and he wants more wants to help more people so um hello welcome to legally exhausted thanks i have a nice <laughs> setup here Thank you. So uh, we try. So um, tell us about VA Scaler. It's it's specific to what type yes. of business? So we made we created VA Scaler specifically for doctors and for lawyers. We don't market to restaurants. We don't market to anyone else. Just doctors and lawyers. And the reason we do that is first because I have I'm a lawyer, and we know what lawyers need. And uh, we also work with some doctors and it's very similar traits where information is critical. Mm -hmm. We have to protect their info. Mm -hmm. um, so we created BA Scaler to provide a specific service for those industries. We hire bilingual, very talented employees overseas, specifically in South America. And we bring the whole service for a law firm or a doctor's office in the US so that it's very easy for them to start hiring people uh, overseas through us. And that way they get very talented people that are bilingual, which is very beneficial for here in South Florida. Right. And there we have back office staff that uh, is requesting medical records for doctors. Uh, they're calling clients for law firms, telling them how their case is going. And mm -hmm. our service is not only just hiring the employee overseas and that's it. Our service encompasses a wide variety of things that lawyers and doctors need. So what I like about VA Scaler is one, you guys provide the computer, the two monitors, the whole setup, the whole workstation for the staff and you guys on the uh, back end at VA Scaler, you guys figure out ways to minimize my data risk as an employer. So as a law firm, I got medical records, confidential client documents, and I have employees here in the United States that have access to those documents. But once they leave, I push a button, they're locked out of the computer. In VA Scaler, it's an overseas company. And uh, you guys, by providing the computer software and all that, you guys have the ability to push a button and lock out an employee who is uh, either being terminated or being um, maybe breaching data, right? And what I like about that is uh, what, what I think separates VA Scaler from other virtual assistant companies, because if you're if you're in America right now and you own a business and you're a law firm or a medical provider and you're not using virtual assistants, you are behind the power curve in terms of where we're going uh, right now because wages keep rising. It's hard to find talented people. And so what I like about VA Scaler is you guys have the ability to push a button, lock somebody out of the computer. And uh, I can do that in the United States, but I can also call the police. I can't really call the police in a 
if, if a virtual assistant is working overseas out of their house, I, I can't do anything about their data on the computer if they're working from their home. But when they're in an office setting, that's what I think differentiates VA Scaler the most. When they're in an office setting, you control the data. VA Scaler controls the data. And that's one thing that I really like. Yes, that's correct. Uh, because we only specialize on law firms and doctors. Controlling the data, it's probably the most important thing that we do. Right. Um, when we provide the computers, they're constantly monitored and they are set up by our IT department. Mm -hmm. uh, when something goes wrong, uh, if something goes wrong, we always have the ability to press a button and the employee gets locked out of the computer. Mm -hmm. They cannot download, they cannot put USBs in the computer and, uh, and they cannot download software that you don't know what it is. Mm -hmm. um, and one of the main things is that our employees have must work from our office that is monitored by cameras, by supervisors overseas. Mm -hmm. It's not like other companies that uh, the employee just works from their house and using their own internet connection that sometimes is unstable. Mm -hmm. You don't know what computer they're using. What if their what if their family member is using the same computer that has my law firm documents, right? So some uh, virtual assistant is working overseas from home and uh, they are using the computer during the day and their kid is on it at night downloading viruses. Uh, maybe they have a, a roommate who's accessing my client's confidential data. So I can't have that at my firm. So that's why I use a company like you, VA Scaler, to make sure that my client's data is protected. Yes, that's correct. And I think this is something that is sometimes um, it, a lot of companies don't put a lot of importance in it because they haven't gone through what happens when someone actually steals data. Mm -hmm. But there are plenty of examples where lawyers, doctors are getting sued for millions of dollars mm -hmm. when something like that happens. Right. You were talking about social security numbers, addresses, phone numbers, very, you know, medical history of patients. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Critical information that needs to be protected. Right. Or your company, if you're a lawyer or a doctor, you might be in for a huge loss. Yeah. Yeah. And so also on, uh, on that note, um, personal injury lawyers, I don't think take their clients data seriously. I've met personal injury lawyers that they just put data on a laptop and then just that laptop is just around. There's no password on the screen to get into there. And a lot of our clients, you know, I've read uh, medical records where my clients have really confidential stuff they don't want anybody knowing about, like their HIV status, um, really private stuff with their medical history that they don't want people to know about. Yet, you know, guy has it, personal injury lawyer has it on his laptop. He's using it at a Starbucks doing the whole, I work from Starbucks wherever I want because I, I work for myself. And what if he left his laptop and somebody stole it and they have client records? And, you know, this happens here in the United States as well, but uh, even worse overseas where it could be um, perhaps more valuable um, or just the fact that it's a risk out there, right? As, as, as uh, I was talking to uh, your IT person at VA Scaler and he said, I don't sometimes when they sign up a law firm, the law firm has no data protection policies in place at all in the United States even. And um, he says, I don't know if I want to hire a lawyer if I if I don't need to, because half of these lawyers, their their systems are just wide open. Uh, not, they don't even have to be hacked. It just somebody could just take the computer and all the files are on there, you know. Uh, so 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 really, really interesting stuff with VA Scaler. So off that topic, uh, I like the VA Scaler has the whole setup, the computer equipment, the office rent, everything like that, coffee at the machines. I don't pay for that. I just pay for an employee. I pay for an employee through VA Scaler. You pick up all of the tasks of the rent, the coffee machines for these guys, you know, stupid little things like snacks and stuff like that, that most employers don't even realize. Um, you guys pick up for that. We just pay an hourly rate and you guys take care of their wages and all the other expenses of running an office. 
the electric bill. I don't have to pay your electric bill. I have 50 employees with your company and all I pay is a flat hourly rate and I don't have to worry about um, hiring and firing. That's one thing I love about you guys. I don't have to hire anybody. I don't have to do job postings. I don't have to take away time from my busy law firm to have someone get applicants for things like a receptionist that has a lot of turnover in the United States. Nobody wants to be a receptionist for the rest of their life. And you guys, you guys handle that. So talk to me about the hiring and firing that you guys have at your, at your company. Talk to me about the hiring that you guys have at your company. So like I said, our service, we try to make it very easy for our clients, our lawyers, our doctors. Uh, We try to take care of everything. So when a new client tells us, hey, Sergio, I need uh, two people bilingual f- for a receptionist task. Since from that point, we ask the client what are he, what is his criteria for hiring that person. Uh, does he need to have experience? Their, their level of English is going to be constantly talking on the phone. And from that criteria, we take care of everything. Mm-hmm. We do the job posting on our platforms overseas. We have a whole team that is a recruiting team that specializes on hiring people overseas. Mm-hmm. Um, we do the job posting and we start, we do the interview for those candidates. We make sure that the, the people that are applying fit the criteria. Then we make sure that their level of English is uh, up to our standards mm-hmm. and uh, when we find the the right candidate we do all the legal paperwork to hire them on that specific country we we have lawyers overseas that help us to make sure that everything is done legally and that all the employees there get all the benefits that are legally required and i don't pay for any of that i don't have to pay for your lawyers i don't have to pay for your payroll i just pay you an hourly rate and you take care of all the the details so you know what i like a lot about va scaler is that you guys hire for me i don't have to deal with job postings i don't have to deal with interviewing candidates who some of them apply i don't know why but they apply they have no intention of responding to us uh we get a hold of a lot of people interview them some of them are really bad and then we find that one hidden gem And I like that I don't have to do that when I use you for the positions that I'm hiring with. Um, Can you talk about that? Yes. We've hired hundreds of receptionists, for example. We know what it's needed for their tasks. Um, When we hire someone, we also go through all those hurdles that you talked about but we take care of that Mm -hmm. we go through all the resumes we take out the ones that are not good the ones that are always applying that they don't even speak english Mm -hmm. we take care of all that so that you don't have to worry about all that and spend your time doing that yeah and you guys have a recruiter team you guys have a team of recruiters at your office in the hr department that will find talented employees right yes we've done it for many years we have a system where we make a very detailed job posting uh where we target certain specific types of people that meet our requirements so we have a lot of experience doing these and our team always gets the best top-notch talent Mm -hmm. and what i like is i don't have to pay for your recruiters so in the US, I have a recruiter here. I got to pay. I don't have to pay for your recruiters. They're included in the whole process because you guys have a very simple invoicing structure where I pay you an hourly rate for the employees and you take care of everything from payroll, taxes, retirement plan for them. The recruiters are included in that. And what I like about your invoice. I pay at the end of the month after the services have been rendered. You probably should fix that. I don't want to screw you one day and not pay you, but uh, I'm never leaving. But uh, you guys charge me at the end of the month for the services that were rendered. You guys have a simple no hidden fee nonsense, which I used another company. They had 30 different hidden fees on there. Before I knew it, I was paying as much money as I was for an American employee 
with all their hidden fees. So I, I really like that about your guys' structure. Tell me about your invoicing. Yes. So throughout the years, we've been perfectioning this. We've noticed that, like you said, a lot of other companies, they have, oh, you want to start working with us? Then you have to pay this startup fee. dollars, a startup fee, initial fee. Mm -hmm. And then you ask them, what is that for? Well, just to start. Right. Know, the the money is not going nowhere. Um, uh, so we perfected these. And our way of thinking is we want to make it frictionless for someone to get started. Mm -hmm. We want to make it very simple where all every month you just get a, a very simple invoice with one amount that you know exactly what you're paying for and everything is encompassed on that payment. Mm -hmm. um, so we also have n the no long-term contracts like other companies right so there's no a commitment that we require from a client we are we want the client to be with us because our service is great not because they sign a contract that they cannot live for a year right right i hate that about certain companies i'm going through that right now with the the printing company that we use we lease printers they have an automatic renewal of if you don't opt out by a certain point it's automatically renewed for another couple of years and there's another software the company that we use um if you don't give them the proper notice you're stuck and i hate that and i, I hate that about other companies i love that about you because if i wanted to leave for any reason hey here's my notice i'm leaving i think the only thing is i can't take my, the employees from you and hire them directly is the only thing that i can't do if i wanted to leave yes that's correct we make it very simple for you to get started so that there's no risk on your part you want to get started okay here's you you start the first month if you like it you stay you get more employees if you don't right. like it you leave you let us know and that's it right um yes we also protect a lot of our employees and that's one of the things that is required when working with us if there's a commitment that you will not uh solicit independently one of our employees right right so what i like about va scaler is you guys have a no cell phone policy in the office so there's no cell phones allowed in the policy can you explain that to the people watching this yes and it's all about protecting your information and your clients data uh we have this policy uh where employees cannot be on their workstations with their cell phones uh you know doing whatever they do on their cell phones mm -hmm. we have lockers at the entrance of the offices and they're required to when they clock in to put their cell phone in their locker go work to do their eight hours and then when they get out of the office they retrieve their cell phone and they go home we we do this for a couple of reasons the first one is to protect data so that they an employee cannot go and take photos of the screen mm -hmm. uh, or start making phone calls and telling someone the information. Mm -hmm. And we also do it for performance. Productivity. Productivity. Yeah. Correct. So I'll tell you about the productivity from my end. So watch this. The employees in America comparing their productivity in an eight-hour day to the productivity of the employees at VA Scaler. So they're doing the same exact work, same exact tasks. Just some people are in another country working at the VA Scaler offices. And some people are here at my offices in the United States working. And the productivity from the VA Scaler employees was seven and a half hours of work. The productivity of the US based employees was something like five hours, five and a half hours of work. I don't have the picture in front of me right now, but you guys get the idea. I'm getting more working hours out of my staff with VA Scaler because there's no cell phones at the desk. And so, you know, I'm walking around in America. We have a no cell phone on the desk policy, but that doesn't mean they don't have the cell phone hidden for two minutes, go to the bathroom for two minutes and do all this stuff. And what I find is they're on Instagram liking photos and I'm, I'm the boss. I can do whatever I want. I go on my Instagram account and I see they're liking my photo that I just posted 
during the workday in America. But I don't have that problem with my VA scaler staff. They go on Instagram at the end of the night and they, they, some of them like my stuff and that's, and that's cool. I appreciate them. Thanks for the follows. But, um, productivity is so awesome. Now, if I did that in the United States, my staff would have a revolution. I would end up on TV as the worst boss ever. Uh, my staff loves me, by the way. But I would end up as the worst boss ever because how could I take away their cell phones? You know, it's their little Crackberry, right? They, when people used to have Blackberries, they called them Crackberries. Um, so, I love that about VA Scaler. Yes, and by the way, the employees in South America also love you. You have a very good <laughs> reputation in there. Um, yes, that's something we were talking about that if in the U.S., any employer, a lawyer, a law firm or a doctor's office would make a new rule to their employees, no cell phones allowed, you know, a, a lot of them were going to quit on the spot. Yeah. Because, you know, it's just a culture thing. Right. And what we do is, um, we make this the culture of our company overseas that no, our culture is that there's no cell phones allowed and uh, the productivity is one of our main things because one of our core values, the main core value is we're obsessed with the client's success and that comes part with working hard for them. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Great news. I want to share with the people watching this is I've officially reached an awesome milestone with VA Scaler. I have a full on soccer team. World Cup is going on right now. I got a full-on soccer team at VA Scaler, my litigation paralegals. I have more than 11 now. 11 is a soccer team, I just learned. They told me about it. I have more than 11 litigation paralegals working for me at VA Scaler, crushing it on motions to compel, uh, different notices, notice of service or process, filing complaints, reviewing documents, just an awesome team of people, hardworking people, at VA Scaler, helping my litigation for my practice. And um, tell us about litigation paralegals. You guys found me people that fit the mold for what makes a good litigation paralegal. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Yes. Because these people didn't have any experience working for a law firm, doing litigation work at all. You guys found the personality for this. Yes, that's correct. And it all comes down again to we've hired a lot of them. We know what it's required. So we know that there's a specific personality that it needs to be very detail oriented and uh, they need to be very aware of the, of the product that they're delivering. Mm -hmm. So we look for that specific personality when looking for someone as a litigation paralegal. Mm -hmm. Awesome. And do you guys do personality tests on employees when yes. you hire them? Sometimes we do, depending on if it's a specific task that requires certain personality. We have this chart that is for different quadrants that one of them is very detail oriented. The other one is very energetic. Um, mm -hmm. So we, we do these tests and depending on the test, along with other tests, we decide if that candidate is, is good or not is, is going to be a good fit and that, and i like that because my litigation paralegals my litigation paralegals at va scaler will crush any litigation paralegal in the united states toe to toe i guarantee it and uh and i owe that part of that success to va scaler and to you because you guys helped find these people. And I'll, I'll tell you a story. Um, my most amazing litigation paralegal. Uh, I hope she's watching this. I won't mention her by name because she'll get mad. Um, she's a little introverted sometimes. She will say, she said to me, don't hire any more paralegals in America. The ones that you're hiring suck. We brought people over from the prosecutor's office, the public defender's office, different law firms. She goes, they're horrible. And the people at VA Scaler, they fit the mold and I can train them from scratch on how to do litigation. And they are crushing right now um, at Obadi Law. Yes. And the good thing is that the same way we take care of hiring, if we have to, if for some reason, after all our filters, interviews, personality tests, 
the person that we hired just doesn't perform, we also take care of the firing and replacement of that person. So I actually hate when we have to fire somebody or terminate somebody. I run the other way. I don't want to be there because it can be emotionally dragging with some people. Some people, it's just business. It's like, okay, we always give people um, a severance when they leave our office. We always offer them a severance because, hey, um, you know, I, I grew up in a, in, a, in a home where, you know, if my mom lost her job and she couldn't make rent that month. So um, we always give people a severance to help give them time to find another job. Um, and, uh, you know, luckily, we don't have to do that too much here in the United States or with you. But when we do have to do it, it's easy because we just send you an email. Hey, this person, we've we've given them, uh, you know, one, two, three, four different notices. However many times we've tried to correct them, they keep making the same problems. Let's get rid of them and replace them. And you guys handle that, which is great because it's just a quick email to you. You guys lock them out of the system, bring them in for a meeting, handle the termination process. And the the coolest thing, I think, is that there is no lawsuit if somebody gets terminated and they're unhappy and they want money and they just want to um, uh, extort me for money. You guys handle that. Uh, you guys take that risk because... Um, you're a separate company. The employee works for me, but technically they work for VA Scaler. So they don't actually, I don't have to deal with any of that headache, um, which I love. Yes. On their eyes, they work for a company on that country overseas. Mm -hmm. Now, of course, we are guided by local attorneys on that country so mm -hmm. that everything is legal. They have their social security, their insurances. And we we um we provide everything for them and more more than is legally required because one of our things is we want to take care of them mm -hmm. because if we take care of them they'll take care of our clients right okay awesome so I know that I know that uh, you know you're a foreign corporation right but you also have a U.S. corporation to accept payments. In the past, I've used other virtual assistant companies in the past. I worked with one that had offices in like 12 different countries and I had to pay a foreign corporation, which was kind of a hassle. It was a international wire transfer. I don't have to do that with you, right? I just cut you a check to your US corporation and you figure out how to pay the employees overseas. Tell me about that. Yes. Again, this is part of making it very easy for a U.S. company to start with us. We have a corporation here in the U.S. where that's where our clients will make the payment to. Just like they're making their payment to any other provider here in the U.S. There's no wiring uh, money overseas. There's no any crazy bank uh, no, no money laundering. Look, I don't need the IRS thinking I'm laundering money. That was an issue for me with the other company is I was paying this company. They were overseas and I was concerned that, you know, I'm, I'm paying for employees overseas. I'm worried the government is going to start saying, why is this guy in Florida moving all this money overseas? And, 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 and I'm happy that you guys have a U.S. corporation because I just pay a U.S. corporation just like anything else. There's no separate uh, 1099-F that you have to file, which is when you, when you, have a foreign, when you pay a foreign company, you have to file 1099-F. Um, so, I don't have to do any of that. It's just paying a regular company and you handle all the back-end stuff of moving money to the company. So, you have two companies, a, a U.S. company and a foreign company. Yes, that's correct. Awesome. And the foreign company takes care of all the all the local part of the of the business which is all everything that has to do with the employee and all everything that's legally required on that country mm -hmm. and the company here in the u.s is the one that interacts with the client to make their life easy mm -hmm. awesome awesome hey guys so sergio wants to take over he wants to change the format a bit he wants to ask me what i like about certain job roles that va scaler has hired for me yes so i ahead. think the for purposes of getting more practical advice to the viewers, it would be helpful if you mention specifically what your people overseas do for you and how they've been helpful. Yeah. So, we've already talked about receptionists. I've got um, three or four receptionists 
for a- for receptionists with VA scaler. I no longer have receptionists in the United States. Why? Um, no one in the United States wants to be a receptionist for the rest of their life. No one wants to be a receptionist at the pay rate that is that of a receptionist in the United States. They all want to get paid significantly more money than is worth. I can't afford to pay four people as a receptionist in the United States, yet my call volume, I need four people, right? Um, and, and also, the receptionist job has been a gateway to people in the office, uh, here in the United States. So one of my most awesome employees who I tell everyone is my favorite, she's been with me now, I don't know, eight years, something like that. Uh, she started as a receptionist and she's worked her way up into different jobs. And her her thing with being a receptionist was, hey, I'll be a receptionist because I want to learn a little bit and I want to show you I can do bigger and better things. And since then, she's done so many fantastic roles in the company and uh, now she's managing multiple people um but in in with your company i have awesome talented hard-working professional people answering phones bilingual mind you and they're doing a great job for me and i can handle the call volume and i remember there was a period of time we had two receptionists that would alternate back and forth um, you know, and, and, and one of them would always call out sick and then the other one would call out sick and we didn't have people answering the phones. And if you're a law firm and you don't have people answering your phones, you're losing money. So I have receptionists. We talked about that. I have a team, uh, at my call center. How many people do I have at my call center? I want to say like seven, you have like six or seven, six or seven people. Yeah. So amazing people, bilingual. I have some English, Spanish bilingual i have some people who speak portuguese and uh these people are taking phone calls all day i think we get somewhere around 250 phone calls a day am i 200 yeah 250 phone calls a day at the call center and so i have these people answering phones now these people are there from i want to say 7 a.m till 9 p.m 10 p.m something like that they have two different shifts uh we have people on the weekend saturday and sunday that come in as well i think it's one or two people saturday and sunday just for the call center inbound call center taking calls hey i was in a car accident hey uh my house caught on fire on the weekend i need a lawyer we handle all those calls 24 7 pretty much uh and that's uh that's a good point that you mentioned we also work with the client to make sure the the shift of the employees overseas um, is the best one for what they need right i told so, you my hours i told you the hours i needed and you guys found people to work those hours you didn't tell me hey these are the only hours i said these are the hours i need and you got me people and they're amazing people by the way at the at the call center if they're watching this i i love you guys you're awesome um and they they do a great job and some of them have worked at other call centers but um uh, I don't think many have worked at a law firm call center. So I got to train them to handle things the way I wanted. Um, and uh, they're phenomenal people. I also have, uh, we talked about this, uh, people requesting medical records. So in the United States, for me to hire someone, we used to have two people in the United States just requesting medical records um, full time from doctor's offices. Hey, we, we are settling a personal injury case. In order to do that, we need this client's medical records. We need their bills. Please send it to us. Sounds easy. It's not. You have to follow up with people. Um, sometimes you have to go to the doctor's office with a gun and threaten to get violent if they won't give you their medical records. I don't understand why it has to get to that point, but sometimes it does. Um, so, with with these people, they, 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 they stay on it. Um, uh, people handling my disbursements of personal injury money, the closing statements, the reduction letters. If you know, we have to say, hey, uh, uh, hey, doctor, we appreciate you treating this patient. The case didn't settle for a million dollars. We need you to take a reduction on this case. Would you be so kind uh, due to financial hardship to take this reduction? And you'd think that'd be easy. It's not, uh, but it's, it's, it's constant. And so now we have three or four people handling those. Um, with your company, with VA Scaler, and they're crushing it right now. They're doing awesome. I have um, more than 11 people in my litigation paralegal team. They are bar none better than 
if not equal to any litigation paralegal in the United States. I will bet money on that. If you're watching this and you think you got a better paralegal under five years experience under, I'll, I'll qualify it with that. Any litigation paralegal with less than five years experience, my paralegals will crush your paralegal. And um, they are hard workers uh, over at VA Scaler for, for the litigation team. Well, all the teams are, but um, litigation's crushing it right now. They're doing awesome. I'm very proud with them. And um, I'm just trying to think who else. Well, you also have case managers there. I, don't know. I have some personal injury case managers who do a lot of the handholding for my clients. They talk to them. They're like, oh, um, I need need i have a doctor's appointment on this day i need transportation they help them get an uber they help them uh, navigate the personal injury process so that they can get uh one the medical care that they need and and two you know uh some hand holding along the way hey listen uh, this is what an mri is this is what um this type of treatment is and and they help them understand the process what are bi limits and they do this so well yeah, and that's that's a very important point that you touched in there because one of the main parts that makes a law firm successful is that the client likes the service. Right. And part of that is that when a client calls, they have a specific person that they always talk to that will answer any any question they have. And not only that, but it's also the case managers calling them Right. Letting them know, hey, this is where we are at your case. Uh, this is what's going to happen next. This is how long it's going to take. And that makes clients extremely happy. Um, the problem is that if you're a law firm in the US that don't hire uh, services like the ones that we provide, then a lot of times you're not going to have the, the manpower to do all this. Or it's just simply going to be too expensive to have someone in the office calling all your clients to right. do the hand holding. Right. You bring up a great point. So before VA Scaler, um, our law firm received some complaints about, uh, hey, I don't get a call back. Uh, hey, I call, I can never get anybody on the phone. And now that I have VA Scaler, we never, I never hear those complaints. Um, we never have problems with people answering phone calls, returning calls. It used to feel like we were always behind at the law firm. We were never ahead of the power curve. Um, the holiday season was a nightmare because everybody wants their personal injury settlement. The doctors want their money. It's uh, Christmas time, the new year time. I got to get my money in. And now, honestly, this, this uh, holiday season, the month of December which is the busiest month for any uh, law firm, and especially that deals with insurance, litigation, personal injury, all that. It, it was a breeze this this month because no, no headaches, no, oh, this guy says he's coming to the office because he can't get his check. I mean, these people are happy. My clients are very happy because we have the manpower. Are we still allowed to say manpower? We got to say woman power, person power. I don't know, manpower. We have the manpower, the people to get the job done. And what I love the most about that is I'm not paying 99% of my money to salaries. I am getting people at an awesome rate who are making phenomenal results for my company. And that's what I, that's what I like about VA Scaler. So awesome point. So, so Sergio, tell me about what you guys do for doctors, medical providers. Uh, you guys have some clients that are uh, orthopedic groups pain management groups, MRI centers, chiropractors. Tell me a little bit about what kind of employee VA Scaler will find for them. Well, yes, most doctors require receptionists for their patients and schedulers, a lot of schedulers. Mm -hmm. Patients are always rescheduling doctor's visits. They need to change their appointment. So they need a lot of schedulers. So we provide that for them. And yeah, that's a great service. Awesome. So I, I don't want to mention names, but I have a really good friend who's an awesome person who's a medical doctor, phenomenal dual board, dual board certified physician who every time someone would call this guy's office, they would get the Ruby receptionist of the world. The uh, uh, I, I can take a message for you person, which is trash because they sent an email to his receptionist saying hey you didn't pick up the phone 
John Smith called you at this phone number, call him back. And so the receptionist who was already overwhelmed and couldn't take all the calls would never call back John Smith. And so I put him on to you guys, VA Scaler, and he got some receptionists who now answer his phones. When people call this doctor's office, they get a person, not um, thank you for calling. We can take your message or thank you. Leave us a voicemail. Get an actual person. Person can say, okay, I know what you need. Let me figure this out for you. And then he has people um, scheduling patients now for procedures. So they'll call in and, and maybe the receptionist uh, says, hey, look, uh, let me put you over. To, you need an appointment. Let me get you to someone in scheduling. They schedule the doctor's appointment for the person, schedule the procedure for the person. I think now that doctor just hired people um, almost exclusively with VA scaler because they're hardworking, bilingual and get the job done. And the people in the U.S. are just sucking, he told me. Yes. And... Um when a new client starts with this, they usually start with a couple a couple of employees. Uh, you know, we've had one start with five of them. Mm -hmm. And the more they use our service, the more they they like it and the more they realize the potential that it has. Mm -hmm. So they start just hiring hiring more people overseas and lowering a little bit their uh, their staff in the US because they Everything that they do, well, some tasks that they do here in the U.S. can be replaced by someone overseas at a fraction of the cost mm -hmm. and with better performance. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. So, so you mentioned the cost of these people. So, obviously, I'm not paying for a litigation paralegal with VA Scaler. I'm not paying American rates. I'm paying overseas rates. And I'm paying your company. So so tell me, your your people, obviously I'm paying less money for litigation paralegal, but are your people, the, are your VA scaler employees getting paid less? Tell me about that. Well, so we always, it's very important for us to take care of our employees. What we do is we pay them really good salaries for their, for where they live. Okay. Um, Compared to other companies in that same country, we pay higher salaries to them so that they are happy. We also give them extra benefits that other companies in their country won't give them. Yeah, and I have, think, and I, and I think you guys have a special retirement plan. They have, they have every country kind of has their own version of social security retirement stuff. But you guys at VA Scaler have a an extra plan right to ensure that they stay with the company longer to help them stay with the company longer you want to talk about that yes obviously we do everything legal and they have their legally required retirement plan but for us we want to give them more so we came up with our own retirement plan which is a plan that if they work with us for a very long time which that's the goal then at the retirement they're going to have a lot of benefits through our company they're going to get a retirement money they're gonna get a lot of money if they retire with you and um so t t tell me a little bit about the just um how that works what the purpose is and 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 how it works exactly yes yeah, so for the client our main goal is to keep that uh employee for a long time so that there's not a lot of changes they already know the person and they work there for our, for a long period of time um so we bring up these benefits where we tell the employee, hey, if you work for five years, 10 years with us, then the, the longer you work with us, the better your retirement will be. They're going to get a payout. They're going to get a payout. At a the five-year mark, 10-year mark, 20-year mark, however many years they work with you, they're going to get a payout when they hit certain thresholds. Yes. And it's a win-win for them and for the client because they always have the same person. There's not a big... Uh, turnover rate mm -hmm. yeah turnover can really harm a business because one you could be stuck in a training quagmire where you're constantly training people and they're constantly leaving and two it's just a time suck when you have to dedicate time to training a new person that means somebody's training them so you're losing that time as well so you're really losing two employees one to train and then the other one to do the training 
Uh, so that's that's what I like about VA scalers. You guys have these uh, benefit plans in place, money for the employee to stay longer so that me, the customer, I don't have to constantly be involved with turnover because um, somebody got offered an extra amount of money to leave, which is what happens a lot in the US. They get a slight pay bump and they're out the door. Uh, it's not like 20, 30 years ago where people said, no, this is my company. I'm working here till I retire. Nowadays, it's it's all about the money and they're out the door if they can get a little bit of a, a, a pay bump. Yes. And that's a big problem that i think every company here in the u.s is facing mm -hmm. uh, like you say a lot of them are just switching jobs over and over three times a year just to get a little bit raise uh, what we do in overseas is once the employees have a trial period of two months um and then we we make sure that they're they work really hard that the client likes them when we know that we give them a very, very good pay raise so that we take them out of the market. Okay. We're so, somebody's good that. at the 60 day mark, you guys give them a pay raise. Uh, they, so, they have a trial, a trial period of two months. So, the US, we have a 90 day trial period and in, in the, uh, at your company, you have a 60 day trial period. Yes. Okay. After they work six months for us and they've been working hard and they do a good job and the clients love them, we give them a substantial raise on their salary uh, to take them out of the market so that we know they're going to stay with us for a very long time and they're going to keep the clients happy for a long time. And when you say take them out of the market, you mean pay them more money so that they're not looking for another job and they're content with their pay? Yes, we okay. pay them more than what most companies are willing to pay them. Okay. And what, and what you hired them for just a few months ago. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. So, Sergio, how can people get a hold of you? Yes. They can email me at Sergio at VAScaler.com or they can call me at 561-271-9842. Awesome. Thanks, Sergio, for being on the show. Really appreciate you and everything you've done for my company. Thanks, buddy. Thank you. All right. That was good. That was good. So, Dennis, you can just send him the final cut.